Okay, hello. In this tutorial, we'll be going through how to configure your uh, RFID module for high frequency bus mode. So, HF bus mode is a uh, is a function that's uh, available for the RFID module that allows you to connect your RFID read head in a bus like fashion, a multi drop bus fashion, so that you only use one port on your RFID module. Okay. So you don't need to use uh you know use multiple multiple ports for each RFID. Okay. Okay, you can see only one port only. Although I have uh, two two channels for this. Okay, so firstly go to the URL of your the IP address of your web of your device. And we'll always start out with going to the parameters and we'll do a factory reset to remove any uh possible any weird configurations that's left behind by the previous user. So we need to log in to the admin first. Okay, password is password. Okay, and then execute a reset. Okay. So after the reset, your IP address will turn into 192.168.1.254 okay if it doesn't auto configure it you can go to this default ip address okay and then log in okay uh take note if you cannot find this device also it might be because you have another device with the same default address so uh do un disconnect any other device that might have that might be in the same subnet so you can go to parameters and you can change it to your network configuration that you want to use. Okay, so now to start off with uh, con activating the bus mode, uh, we will lock in as admin first. Password is password. Go to parameters. And you can see the default is HF compact mode. Pull down the menu, go to HF bus mode. And you can see there's a, a lot more different uh, parameters that you can set. But for now, we will need to activate a minimum of one read head so that uh, some of the commands that can work. Okay, so right now I have, I have three read heads. Okay. So in most normal situation, you can just activate the read heads according to the number of read heads you have. Okay, so I have three read heads. I activate read head one, two, and three. Okay, because uh, by default the read heads will is will auto <laughs> will automatically give themselves the address. Okay, depending on who is closer to the module. And then you write, okay. So now, oh, there is a diagnosis. Okay, let's see. Hmm, something's a bit wrong. We have a lot of errors over here. It's not detecting the read head at one, two, or three. This is weird. Let me check with a. Uh, let me check with one of the RFID tech. Can see, oh. Okay, in most normal situation, if everything is okay, you'll see that the LED will flash when a uh, uh the RFID tag is placed nearby. Okay, oh, so it seems like all three reheads is not working. So we'll slowly go through it. Okay, so now uh let's do a bit of uh, debugging. Okay, so right now we are in idle mode. You can see over here, idle mode. We're gonna change the mode from idle to uh, we need to get the read head address. Okay, so one of the possible, one of the common problems for not detecting the read head is the wrong read head address. So we try to get the read head address over here. Wait for it. Error get 
trying to get read head address. Hmm. Nothing is connected. Okay, so. Okay, so this is a very weird situation. Okay, so. Okay, so. Mm, firstly, first to debug, uh, let's remove the different the RFID tag, okay, the RFID read head, disconnect and only use one at a time. Okay. So that we can detect what is the ID of the read head. Okay. Because when you run that command you might see more than one read head and you also don't know who is uh, what's the address of each read head. So we keep it only one. And then let's run it. Okay, let's go back to the first command, bring it to the default idle mode. And okay, with only one read head, you try to read. Oh, no, it's not working. Okay, corrections, you should uh, remove all the read heads, let them power cycle a bit before you start to debug okay so after you disconnect you reconnect back okay so let's see whether we can detect an RFID oh now you can see can you see the LED blinking okay so now at least uh, this is rehead one the first rehead is working Mm, and let's check what is the read head address. So go to output. Okay. Then we go back to idle mode. And go to get read head address. Okay. So once it gets out of the busy mode, look at the uh wait, look at the uh return data which is one so this is we have address one okay so now if you connect the second read head okay okay and you take away the first read head See that there is no difference. Okay, but let me let us go back to IDO and see whether we can get any data. Out. Okay. Oh, error. Okay, but how about we try resetting? Resetting the module once it is IDO. Okay. Once he is idle, he will be able to detect. No, that is curious. Okay, now let's try to get the read head address. Okay, so you can go get the read head address. You see that the read head is not connected. Okay. So if the read here is not connected, uh, it's very likely that there is there is very likely that there is some kind of conflict between these two. So let's power cycle it by unplugging it. Okay, unplug and then you plug it back. Let it run. Okay. Let's try it. Oh no, now finally it's working. Okay. So now let me go to let me reset the whole module and then we can go to get HF V address. And once it is done, as it stops being busy, you can see that oh the read address for this read it's one. 
Oh, okay. Didn't I say before the the in most normal normal situation your rehead will automatically configure itself. Okay. So uh besides uh, automatic configuration, right? Uh previous users or even you yourself might choose to do a manual addressing of the read head where you can actually use you got you so you can actually use this command set hf read write ad head address to the manual address okay so over here let's try it with so we're gonna try it because we cannot have duplicate one and one together so we're going to try to set this to two okay so okay key in the data that you want first okay so uh okay so for the reset setting of the read hit read write hit address right can only be done if there is only one read hit connected okay so since there's only one read hit you only need to determine write down what is the address that you want in the out output buffer change the first byte of the output buffer and you can drop down menu set wait okay so once you get out of easy mode with no error you mean you know that it's set correctly okay so and then you can get your rfid read write tag you can see that this has been successfully set by two to two. Okay. So now you have two, one and two. Okay. So if I connect this back to the system. You'll see that. You can see the LED blinking on one. And you can see the LED blinks on two. Also, due to the presence of the tag. Okay. So these two, these two read is working. Okay. So now for the third read head, we're gonna do. Okay. Eh, we're gonna disconnect these two. Okay. And connect the last one to the bus. Voila. Okay, let me fix this. Ah, okay. Okay, so now we can run the command. Okay, we need to change it back to the idle mode first before we run new command. So there must be a different command first. So get read hit address, and you get four. Oh, okay. No wonder it this. This read is not working. It's because it has been configured for four to be read hit four when we only activate read hit one, two, and three. Okay. So. Okay, and also from this example, you notice that even though your read hit is not activated, you can still read the value of the read hit itself. So take note of that. Yeah. So it can be configured for read hit thirty two, and you can still find it with just one command. Yeah, but make sure do activate at least one when you're doing the reading of the read, read write address. Okay, so now we're gonna change it. What should we change it to? Okay, let's change it to 68. Okay, so according to the uh, manual, right, you can see that the default bus address of 68 will allow it to be addressed automatically. So Let's try the automatic addressing function. We change it to 68 and we write set the RFD address. Hiya. Address invalid. Hiya. Okay. Address is, uh, that is because 68 is not the. The 68 is this is the decimal value. We need to convert it to hex when you enter it over here. So let's pull out my calculator. In programmer mode, you can write 68 and the hex the equivalent hex is 44. So let's try with 44. Okay, and then let's go back to idle. Oh, let me see. Okay, it's still here. Idle and let's try set it here. 
Okay, now, now it's done. Okay, so let me unplug. Now that everything is done, let me unplug the read head to let it power cycle. Okay, and okay, I skip to the part where I connected everything. So, can read. Now, if you put the tag over there, you can see all the LED blink. Oh, except for the last one. Oh no, why? So, how do we debug this? Go to get RFID HF address, get 1 and 2 and 0. It is not detecting the last one. <sighs> okay, so why is it not working? Here lies the another thing to take note when you're using the automatic addressing function is that you cannot mix manual and okay you cannot really mix manual and automatic together that's because okay so if you're using automatic it's best if you connect uh if you connect them uh in ascending order in the order which you want the address to be allocated one by one so when you already have one and two but it only takes you will not automatically assign this guy to three if you have two manually uh, two manually configured uh, bus address okay so then you'll get some error where it doesn't know which address for it to configure to okay so to debug this error okay you need to okay. So uh, to de debug this error, you either change everybody to automatic and connect them one by one, or you can just change this to, man to a manual address. Okay, so can go. Okay, so for the third one, I'm going to. Oh. 2 to 44 uh, no i'm not setting it to 44 i'm gonna set it to 3 okay i'm gonna set it to 3 and uh go to either mode first and then i'll set it to 3 okay so now if i get my hf pass address you notice that it is 3 okay. so if i connect the rest of them together You'll see that blinks on one, blinks on two, and blinks on three. Okay. And to read the data, just to be sure, you can go to either mode. So either mode, depending on your parameter, uh, your either mode might will be in inventory mode to read the tag address. Okay. to to be to read the uid of your hf tag okay so if i scan the first one you can see over here this is the uid and over this is the detect this is the read head it is first detected at so if you change to a second one it doesn't really change because i'm using the same tag okay so you remember which uh which read head is detected before and it will stay there so if I detect a second, a new one, you can see the UI, UID changes and you reflect the read head is detected on. Okay, and three. Okay, so now I'm gonna do an experiment. Okay, so that's about the that's about all.